you try to unlock your device too many times please try again after 24 hours hello guys this is su amigo alex and today we're going to talk about an issue that is happening with the at&t unlock portal a lot of people are complaining that the at&t portal is giving them an error something about you requested too many times try again in 24 hours today we're going to check that this iphone is currently locked to at&t if you go to settings general about you're going to find carrier lock sim lock and just to confirm that, let me put a SIM card from a different carrier that is not AT&T. We're going to use Google Fi this time. Put it here and you're going to get the SIM not supported right there. SIM not supported. OK, so that means that this iPhone is locked and I know it's locked to AT&T. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Safari, scroll down and clear history and website data. All history, close tabs. Now we're going to go to settings general about and you're going to copy the imei open safari search for at&t unlock this is the original website and you're going to start an unlock request do you have a mobile number from at&t no imei number click and hold paste oh look at this this is exactly what happened to me you try to unlock your device too many times please try again after 24 hours but i already wait more than 24 hours and this is gonna still happening over and over the first suggestion we're gonna try with the eSIM the IMEI 2 is the eSIM click and hold and copy open safari again AT&T unlock click there start unlock request do you have a mobile number from AT&T no the IMEI number, click and hold and paste. This is the model XS A1920. And then click next. You see, it's allowing me to put my information. So you can do this trick if you have two IMEIs. On the mobile number, don't even click there, you know. Put your email, submit. Confirmation, thanks, we got your request. Now I want you to go to Gmail, sign to your account. And here it is, guys. We are 1208 at 1207. We got the confirm your log request within 24 hours. Click here, confirm your request. Now it's confirmed. Go back to the email and click check the status. And it says pending. We need to wait another two minutes to click again on the check the status. The way it works is AT&T contact Apple. Apple give the approval or denial, send it back to AT&T and AT&T let us know if they can approve our unlock request or not. Once they approve it, this device is going to be unlocked forever and for any company. This is the official unlock. This is the way to unlock an iPhone. Some companies unlock the iPhone with software that will work. But if you reset the iPhone, then you will lose the unlock. So be careful with that. And other companies use this MKSD Ultra SIM cards. You can unlock a device with this too, but I don't recommend it that much you know all right so we already wait enough cross your fingers and click on check the status deny deny a lot of people comment they say AT&T deny my request what can I do you need to read this because AT&T is always going to give you a reason why they deny it so here it says we can unlock this device because it's currently active on another AT&T account you will need to ask the account owner to remove the device for their account they deny me because somebody else forgot to take out this device from their account but eventually it's going to happen or eventually it's going to do it so we just need to wait my recommendation try to unlock it every month and eventually you will unlock it right this is actually better because sometimes you have another reasons that they cannot approve it and it's because it's not pay, they didn't pay the install balance or it's reported lost or stolen, something like this, you know. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to show you this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on my next video.